Hello everyone and welcome to the Game Shed with me Mark and in today's video I'm going to show you how to upload custom backgrounds to your SNES Mini. Uh, thank you so much to the amazing subreddit Mini SNES Mods and a special big thank you goes out to Darkmime64 for creating these amazing examples. I'm going to use these examples because he's done such a great job of it and he's also included the special file that kicks you over into using custom backgrounds. So here's the link, I will put it in the description below, highlight all of these and download the lot. There's some great examples in there, Donkey Kong, SNES, Contra, etc, etc. Uh, you are free to create your own versions of these, you just have to get the format right. Uh, in each of these folders you will see the type of format you need. Right, so let's open up the zip file that I have just created, highlight the lot, and I've created a file structure ready for this so here we go i've created just a folder called custom borders let's copy all of these into there once they're copied across we need to highlight the lot and unhighlight the special file p8173 and then do an extract to separate folders now that will line you up nicely for what is to come so let's highlight all of those and we're going to highlight the p8173 file cut the lot and chuck it into a separate folder. So I've created a backgrounds folder right here under SNES mini folders, very simple. Minimize all of that and hop on over to Hackchi2. What I need you to do is open up tools and tick the FTP server here. Uh, if it's unticked for you, then tick it and it will allow you to FTP onto your SNES mini. Turn on your SNES mini and open up your FTP program. I like to use FileZilla. Uh, it's pretty simple. I know how to use it, etc, etc. Open up the site manager and create a new site called SNES Mini. Uh, chuck in the host, 127001, the port, 1021, the user is root, and the password is Clover, as you can see right here. So if you forget it, you can pop on over there and remind yourself. Click on connect, and it will open up the folder structure of the SNES Mini. Let's have a look. There you go. There's a few odd names in there, but you will probably recognize some of those uh, when if you did the NES Mini hack. So I'm going to help on over to my folder structure in my C drive, first of all on the left. And then on the right, we're looking at the SNES Mini. So if you first click on User, then Share, you will see the folder called Backgrounds. Now what I need you to do with this is copy this into a different location on the SNES Mini. This location is uh, right at the bottom, and uh, if we scroll down, you will see it there. Var, then lib, and then hackchi, then root fs, and then we click on user. Once in there, click on share, and then you will see the folder we need to put that backgrounds folder into. So just click on backgrounds, drag it into there, and let it copy across. It will take a few seconds to do that. And if you pop on off back to the folder we've just been to, it's at the bottom there, share. You will see backgrounds has been added. Okay, that's step one, guys. Step one. You will see all the files in there. They are the originals. You don't have to have these, but it's nice to have them anyway. Next step. I need you to jump on over to your C drive to where we put those files and see that P8173 file? We want to put that into etc etc and then pre init.d. We need to copy that across to that folder to make this work. So there we go. Click that, drag it over, chuck it in. P8173 is now in there and you can see it there. Once that's in, minimize that. Scroll down, minimize user, and we go back to the folder we put the backgrounds folder into. Okay, so the last thing we have to do is copy across all these beautiful examples that were created by DarkMeme64. We're going to chuck them in there and let them copy across. Now, sped that up a bit so you can see this happen quicker. Uh, there you go, there's all the folders. They are all in there. 92 successful transfers. That's what we want. So that's it on the FTP side. Uh, turn off your SNES Mini, turn it back on, and then jump onto it. And what you should see is a whole bunch of cool stuff 
under display so let's click on display and scroll across look at that there's all our custom backgrounds love it um i really like that snes one that is awesome <laughs> and pixel perfect obviously uh if you like the others you can choose the others or you can create custom ones yourself um whatever you want to do it's completely up to you there is plenty of examples on the web there's loads of people uploading their versions of stuff if you cannot be bothered to create your own um but this is just a few examples and if we open a game i'm going to show you exactly what it looks like look at that isn't that wonderful i love that background that's brilliant so that is it it's a very short video i've done this in roughly six minutes can you believe it thank you so much to dark meme 64 much appreciated for those templates uh thank you everyone for watching thank you so much and please drop me a like if you've enjoyed the video drop me a comment if you've got any comments at all thank you so much again i will see you next time